you know, welcome back. Uh, I guess just give us the feel right now. I mean, being, I mean, I guess fight week's not the same as it used to be, right? But being <laughs> back on a fight week, what, what does it feel like for you? It's amazing. You know, like I've been waiting for this from the day that I got pregnant. You know, there was never a thought that I wasn't coming back. It was always in the back of my head. I was still training. I was still in the gym. I was still going with Amanda. So I'm really happy to be back. And fight week is like gives you a feeling it's unexplainable. Yeah. I know you always said you were stepping away and you'd be back, right? But seven months, I believe, right, from birth to, to, to fight? Six and a half, yeah. I mean, that. did you have that aggressive of a return in mind? Oh, I wanted a return earlier. Uh, Amanda kind of put the brakes on that and really put the brakes on it when she took her fight. So I kind of had to be there for her um, and get that fight out of the way or I would have been fighting around that time as well. Yeah. Talk about the, the preparation in the camp this time, right? I mean, you have to be selfish when you're getting ready, right? But uh, obviously being a new mom is, is tough. So how difficult has, has the balance been this time? You know, it, it is tough because I'm a very selfless person. I always put Amanda, baby, everyone in front of me um, because that's what makes me feel good. It's not like a complaint or anything like that. So I was always, you know, half of my camp was during half of Amanda's camp, but I made sure she got everything first. I stayed with the baby at night and took care of the baby. We didn't have any help, it was just the two of us. And then since Amanda's fight, she's, she's been doing it for me. You know, it's, it's cute watching her. Um, Reagan will sit on the sidelines, watch me spar, starts laughing, and it just it's, makes everything so much better. That's awesome. What have you learned about moving forward? I mean, obviously Amanda's got a pretty decent career of her own that she probably wants to be pursuing. So, I mean, do you have to, like, are, you, are your fights going to have to be scheduled where they're, they're, you know, not at the same time, I guess? How's that going to work? Um, I mean, going forward, Reagan's changing every day. You know, she was a really good baby. That's why I took this fight. She was able to sit in her car seat and watch me train. Um, some days I would just train separate hours than Amanda, sometimes at the same time, jump off the treadmill, give her a pacifier, jump back on. Um, moving forward, the only reason we would we were liking to do our fights close together is so that we can vacation together. You know, we like to go. She likes to go to Brazil after her fights for like a month. But if my fights a month after that, you know, it makes the timing weird. So sometimes you have to work with that. Um, but you know, it depends on the fight. It depends where it's going. You know, after this fight, and you know, if I were to win, I would expect maybe a contender fight or a title shot. Um, so that would probably become priority. You know, Amanda's looking to defend her 35 belt. If that comes first, that's priority. You know, we just roll with the punches. However it comes, we deal with it at the time. Nice. So what do you think about the matchup? You knew you were coming back, get it lined up. A pretty strong name, you know, maybe not, uh, you know, as proven, I guess. She's still on the rise. But what, what, what do you think about when, when you got the matchup? You know, Mackenzie's a super tough girl. She came back right after having her baby as well. I don't know if she asked for the fight or if the UFC thought it was a great idea. But, you know, when they announced it to me, I was like, you know what? What's fair is fair. She came right back after a baby against Amanda Hubis, who was a up-and-comer. And I guess I'm doing the same thing, you know. Uh, she's a very tough girl. She's not just a jiu-jitsu. She likes to throw. She's got a big heart. Um, so I took my preparation very seriously, even more so coming back from a pregnancy. You know, I, had, I gained a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight. Um, but I feel great. Yeah. To be clear, I mean, like I said, you're, you're back now, right? As far as you're concerned, it's just you're just another fighter on the roster. I'm right where I left off. You know, I've taken time off between fights because of injuries um, with nothing as a reward. This time I got a baby. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, you kind of touched on a little bit. You know, a win here, recognizable name. You feel like contender fight. I mean, is that is that the path you see for yourself with a win? I think so. You know, my last fight uh, against Tatiana was also a contender fight. Uh, I lost, which I feel is a, a, a close fight. You know, I, uh, given another minute, I think I would have finished that. I had a rough week. I went into the fight with strep throat. I was on a bunch of antibiotics, so I didn't perform my best. Uh, here we are two years later, another contender fight, but uh, no strep throat. So let's see what happens. When you take some time away from the sport, is it a silver lining that it just re-motivates you to get back in there? Does it remind you how much you love this? Yeah, it's definitely put a fire under me, um, especially watching how much Amanda's accomplished over those two years that I've been out. Um, and I, I didn't finish. I wasn't finished. I, I knew I wasn't finished before I got pregnant. The day I got pregnant, I let everyone know that I would be back. Um, I never doubted that. Um, but it also gave me time to heal my other injuries, get that weight off my shoulder of being a mother. I was, you know, I'm getting older. Women have a clock. Now that I have her, everything's easy. Like this fight, I'm not saying the fight, my opponent's easy, but I'm saying life is easy. Mm -hmm. Is there some sort of uh, almost sisterly bond with Mackenzie because she did the exact same thing, having a baby, took some time off? Is there some sort of 
unspoken thing that we probably wouldn't have any idea about. You know, um, we follow each other on social media. Like, we comment on each other's photos. Uh, we, I mean, we haven't really hung out. We're not friends, but we both have a huge mutual respect for each other. Um, so I, I wasn't sure if she asked for the fight or if the UFC thought it was a good idea. But either way, I think it's great for the sport. I think it's great for women. Um, I'm very excited about the fight. Mackenzie was in here earlier. I'm just curious as someone, like you said, you, you follow each other. She said that early on in her career, she was more interested in the party after the fight. She never really took it seriously. And recently, possibly since the birth of her, her child, that she started be treating it like a professional. Have you seen that difference in her? You know, I haven't really paid much attention to her, her life and career, but I can see where she's coming from. But um, on the opposite end, I kind of took everything so seriously in the beginning and things weren't going right for me. I was too hard on myself. And then when I kind of let things go, things started working out for me. So every fighter is different. Um, she's definitely gotten better. Her striking's gotten better, uh, her motivation. So yeah, she's, she's tougher than she was when, when she first started. I, I don't really, I just recently started to pay attention to her, of course, because she's my next opponent. Um, but I can see where she's coming from with that. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Welcome back, Nina. How happy are you with the circumstances? I mean, the baby's here, Amanda's doing great, you're doing good, and now on this big platform with ABC now is on with the UFC. How much better could it get for you? Man, life is perfect, you know. Um, I have no complaints. Uh, I have a family that I love, um, stable. Outside of the sport, I'm, I have my things together, um, and I'm doing a sport that I love. You know, I used to do it for free back in the day. Now, you know, we, we have a career out of it. I have no complaints. I'm very happy to be here. And they always say it's so cliche that things happen for a reason, but you were, you touched on that. You were able to heal and, and let your body kind of recoup. To, so you kind of needed to fix up a couple of things after, you know, the time off helped. Yeah, the time off definitely helped. Um, I used to joke after every fight that I was retired to take that pressure off of me. And this time I like really was for about two years. Like I didn't have a choice. Um, so it did take a lot of uh, stress off me. Uh, I didn't enjoy my pregnancy as much as I heard it could be enjoyable by just eating. And because I had that thought in my head, I have to weigh 115 pounds at some point. The day that I stepped on the scale when I gave birth was 185 pounds, which is like when you see a number like that and know you fight at 115, you're almost like, how am I ever going to But I'm right where I am supposed to be for this weight cut? Excellent. Well, welcome back and best of luck on Thank Saturday. Thank you.